Hello. Uh, so my name is Katie Taves, um, and I am starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> um, this is something I feel like God's been asking me to do for uh, quite a while already, and um, I don't know if I just wasn't ready or just not willing, scared, didn't know what to say. Um, but basically, um, I'm learning. So I'm learning how to be a better citizen of this world that we live in. Um, and I want you to come with me and learn with me and perhaps teach with me. I want to bring other people on this channel. Um, I just feel like if we share what we learn in life, um, we can have a greater impact on society. You know, I don't have to be the only one that benefits uh, from what I learn in life. And you don't have to be the only one that benefits from what you learn in life. I think that it's so beautiful when people can share their stories, share the experiences they've been through, what they've learned. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not the type to script things. Um, <laughs> I I just like to talk like we're having coffee together, which I am drinking my homemade juice. Um, that's how I like to get my nutrients, make sure I'm getting them for the day. Um, but yeah, I I you know I want to learn to be more healthy. Some experiences that I've been through, um, I've dealt with mental health issues, um, with physical health issues uh, that are kind of unexplained. Um, and I'm on a journey of, of um, mental health is so much better than it used to be. Um, and there's a lot of factors that played into that that I'll discuss at some point. Um, there's also physical health that I'm still working with. It has improved um, and it's continuing to improve as I learn more. Um, and then there's, um, you know, relationships, income. There's all these other um, aspects of life that are important. Um, that I think we can all learn from each other and grow together um, and help each other with that. I think, you know, community is so important and in today's day and age, um, a lot of people find it hard to find community. A lot of people, um, especially North American culture and Canadian culture, are really independent. Um, we feel like we've got it all together, we don't need anybody, um, and that's really not how we're supposed to live. We're supposed to be doing life together. Um, and learning from each other and growing together um, and that's what I want to do with you so um, yeah if you ever have anything that you want to talk about uh, that you think could benefit others um, reach out to me <laughs> you know through the comments um, and um, through my social media channels whatever reach out and let me know that you have something to share something God's placed on your heart um, that you feel would edify other people um, so as now, you you already know um, I'm Christian, um, and so whatever shared on this channel will come from a Christian perspective. That being said, um, I do feel like so much of what we go through in life is shared shared experiences. Right? Um, we all live in the same world. We all have to deal with the same things. We're all human, um, and so there's a lot of experiences that are shared. There's a lot of um, principles and values and advice that applies to everybody um, and so while this is going to be a channel that's you know is led by a Christian um, led in a Christian manner um, there's going to be a lot that applies to everybody um, and you know even though I am Christian and that's my identity my main identity um, I've also been hurt and disappointed by Christians and again that's probably something that's going to come out um, in future videos, I'm going to talk about my journey um, out of a conservative Christian group um, and how I, you know, managed to keep my faith through all of that and actually grow my faith um, to to even have a closer walk with God through all of that um, and managing the relationships and <laughs> you know that come along with um, having family, you know, still in that culture and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's another thing I'm going to be sharing. Um, along with mental health. There's going to be so many things we're going to talk about, things I've learned from other people that maybe don't even apply to me but might apply to you, um, and so on and so forth. So yeah, a little bit more about me. Um, I have an extremely wide range of interests <laughs> and um, I love to learn and I love to um, share what I learn with other people. So hence this channel. Um, I love nothing more than to help people. So serving, volunteering, um, that's just like my dream in life is to help people. So this is one way I can do that, which I'm really excited about. Um, and one way you can also help me 
to do that, right? So you can also join me on this journey um, to spread, you know, wisdom and understanding. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Um, other than that, I love outdoor activities <laughs> like um, hiking, biking, um, swimming, uh, camping, um, paddleboarding, kayaking, all, all of that. <laughs> like I'm into it, um, especially um, I also like enjoy like things like volleyball and stuff like that. I'm not um, super good at sports, team sports, but <laughs> uh, I'm trying. I'm a little bit competitive, but um, I try. Um, I love, love good food. I love trying new things. I love adventure, traveling, things like that. Music, singing. Um, I love to sing. It will probably be years before you ever hear me, but um, <laughs> uh, I'm shy about it. Um, but yeah, and I love pursuing a healthy lifestyle. I think health is something that God wants for most of us, if not all of us. Um, that's something he wants to help us with. Um, and that journey is going to be a little bit different for everybody. So I hope I can get you know, people with various things that they've dealt with um, to come on here and, and talk about how their their journey has been through that um but there's so so many things that play into our health um you know from obviously like there's something that we all talk about and that's diet right what you eat um exercise these things and those things are important and we'll talk about that but there's also a lot of other things that are important that don't get talked about um for example relationships you know how you're spending your time um, though that's actually so, so important to your overall health. Um, you know, how much income you have, that is also important to your health, right? Um, stress, there's so many things that play into it. Um, and you know, I believe, um, that God wants to be involved in all aspects of our life. You know, um, every aspect, our relationships, our income, um, our free time, our recreational activities, our health, right? Um, he wants to be involved in all aspects of our life. And so it's important that we learn, um, that we learn his will, that we read his word, that we talk to other Christians about these issues. Um, not just in one area of our life, you know, don't just be a Sunday Christian, um, because God can actually help you with everything if you actually are obedient to him. And sometimes the path that he gives you isn't clear. Sometimes you don't know the end result. You don't know how you're going to get to the end result, but the key is learning to trust him, learning to listen to him and be obedient so that he can guide you on that path one step at a time. Um, and when you really learn to trust God, let me tell you, stress levels, like, you know, there's, you don't have to worry, right? When you know God's got you. Um, it's so amazing, you know, for anybody watching this who's not a Christian, I cannot begin to tell you, like, I have lost everything in life at, at one point, you know, and um, it was so worth it because I was being obedient to God. I, w I was following him and the peace that I, I had, knowing that I was doing his will, knowing that he had my back, that I didn't, you know, wasn't losing him <laughs> or anything because of my disobedience um, was worth every bit of it, worth every, you know, fear, everything that I lost, the pain, the grief. Um, it was worth it. Like, I'm telling you, having the Holy Spirit in your life, having God in your life to direct you, to comfort you, you know, giving you guidance, giving you hope, um, pouring truth into your mind and soul, and, um, you know, being there with you every minute of the day through everything that you go through, um, you know, whether it's the hard times, the joyful times, it's so worth it, guys. <laughs> and, we as Christians, we tend to be, okay, there are extremists, right? I mean, <laughs> there's exceptions to every rule. There's extremists and everything. Um, there's Christians who are um, the opposite of pacifists, right? They're, they're really loud and really forceful and really pushy. Um, but in general, I find a lot of Christians are kind of pacifists. You know, they're kind of, um, don't really talk too much about, um, about being a Christian and what it's actually like on a day-to-day -day basis, how it affects their life personally. Um, for example, um, one thing that's really controversial, the LGBTQ community, right? That's something that a lot of Christians kind of tiptoe around, don't talk about much. Um, and there are not enough, in my opinion, there are not enough people who've, it, who've been in that community, who've been a part of that community, who are sharing their testimonies. 
I know there are so many more than who are speaking up. There are people you are sitting with in church, if you go to church, <laughs> There are people sitting with you in church who have experienced that, who have dealt with those um, those temptations and those those feelings and those identity issues, um, and they have found victory silently and are not sharing their story. And there are people who are struggling silently and not sharing their story, not getting help. Um, that's just one example of things that you know where Christians are not speaking up. We don't speak up. We're not sharing our faith. We're not talking about it enough. Um, and we're not sticking up for God, you know. Um, just like when 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 people are coming against Christianity, when people are coming against God, we a lot of times are not standing up for Him in the way that we should, and defending Christianity in the way that we should. And I speak from experience. Okay, I'm learning. <laughs> I am a full fledged, raging, but very imperfect Christian. Okay. Um, I am still learning all of it. <laughs> like, I'm not perfect in any aspect of my Christian life, but I am trying. <laughs> um, I really am. Um, and that's what learning is for. That's what you guys are for, um, is to, to help me learn. Um, and I want to do the same for you. So come and join me on my journey of learning um, to be more healthy, more joyful, more peaceful, more fulfilled in life. Um, and just to be a better daughter of God. Um, love you guys.